Good afternoon boys. Today I am going to explain you how to perform experiment number 6 based on concave mirror. The aim of the experiment is to find the focal length of a concave mirror by using an illuminated object and a screen. The illuminated object will be taken as a glowing candle and a screen will be using as a plain sheet of paper. The formula used for the experiment will be 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v or if I modify this formula it will be like f is equal to uv upon u plus v where f is the focal length of the concave mirror, u is the object distance, v is the image distance. Now when we say object distance meaning the distance between the concave mirror and the object which is the candle. So x2 is the candle and x1 is the mirror. So distance between the two is going to be taken as u that is object distance. V is the image distance which means the distance between the concave mirror and the screen right the image right image will be on the screen. So the distance between x3 and x1 that is taken as the image distance. Now this is the observation table what we are going to use for this experiment where we are going to fix the position of the mirror at 0 cm mark on the optical bench. The candle position will keep on changing depending on the observation which we are taking. Now here we have taken 29, 27, 25, 23, 21 and 19. Now these positions are going to be based on when we get a clear and bright image on the screen. The distance between x2 and x1 as I said will be the object distance. So subtracting 0 from 29, 29 minus 0, I will be getting the object distance as 29 centimeter. If the image is appearing on the screen at position 26.3, then x3 minus the position of mirror that means 26.3 minus 0 will give me the image distance. Now based on the formula, f is equal to uv upon u plus v, I can calculate the focal length and this is coming out to be 13.8. Now this I am showing you in the calculation here, right? For the first reading. The value of u is 29, value of v is 26.3 divided by u plus v means 29 plus 26.3. 762.7 divided by 55.3, the answer comes out to be 13.8 centimeter. Now this I have done for first calculation. Now how did we reach to these positions? This I am explaining you from the diagram here. This is the position of the concave mirror in the diagram and the position of the concave mirror has been indicated by x1. The candle has been placed at the x2 position and the screen where the image is being taken is represented by x3. So x2 minus x1 that's the object distance u and x3 minus x1 that's the image distance v which has been indicated in this diagram. Now here we are will try our best to take the brightest image whatever is possible. Let's see how we are going to perform it actually with the help of optical bench. In the optical bench I have used this is a concave mirror shown at the position 0 cm mark. This is a candle and this is a screen what I have shown. I have adjusted one of the position so that you can see the image clearly. If you see the flame and its image is coming very clear image on the screen. So what we are going to do, we will note down the position of concave mirror, we will note down the position of candle and we will be noting down the position of the screen which is the position of the image also we can say. For the second reading what we are going to do, we do not have to shift the concave mirror that is fixed. I will try to bring this candle 2 cm closer to the concave mirror as I have shown 27 centimeter mark there. So 2 centimeter closer I am bringing the candle to the concave mirror. Now the image position is going to change. So what we are going to do, we will try to shift the screen closer or away towards the right, towards the left so that I see the brightest image of the candle. 
New positions are there now. So I'll note down again the position of concave mirror, candle, and the screen, which I have noted down there on the observation table. For your third reading, again shift the candle two centimeter closer. So this way, for each reading, we are shifting the candle two centimeter closer. On shifting the screen, we'll be getting the brightest image. Wherever the brightest image is going to be obtained, that position we are going to take as the position of the image and do the calculations. By doing all the calculations, we'll find, we'll get the value of focal length. Suppose the focal length value is little different in each reading. Then at last we'll be taking the average of the focal length and the average of the focal length, how we'll calculate? Sum of the focal length divided by number of readings or number of observations we have taken. And the approximate value we are going to write it in the result as the focal length of the concave mirror. And that will be coming in the result as focal length of the concave mirror by using an illuminated object with the help of a screen is equal to dash centimeter and put the value over there. Right? Thank you boys.